Hi everyone and welcome to another session of how to's. Today we're going to be talking about how to work with your partner and by partner I mean your spouse or someone close to you who you consider uh, special and we know that sometimes we are put in situations where there's a lot of conflict or a situation that makes it hard for the two of you to work together even though you really want to and you have all these goals to meet. So the first tip I will share with you today is know your boundaries. It's very important to know what your limits and your boundaries are for specific situations. It could be about an argument you're having or a decision that you have to make and you realize that if you don't set those boundaries, it's going to cause tensions to escalate. So it's really important to put your foot down in a polite way and say, look, honey, this is not something I'm willing to compromise on, or this is as much as I go when I'm negotiating. The second tip is learn how to diffuse situations. Like all married couples or all couples in a relationship dating, there will always be tensions, there will always be disagreements, there will always be misunderstandings. That doesn't mean you're never going to talk to this person again. More than likely, you will have to talk to them within a few minutes of this argument happening. So you need to know as a partner, what are those strategies that you can use to diffuse or ameliorate a situation to make it better and more tenable and to make your partner more willing to have a calm discussion. Sometimes it means going away for a few minutes or leaving the room for a few minutes and coming back once the situation has calmed down. Because it doesn't help to try to diffuse a situation when tempers are high. Outline your priorities. This is very key and vital and perhaps should have been the number one point is really to know what are your priorities as a couple in the relationship, but also in the business side of things? Because you want to be on the same level. You want to be speaking the same language and you want to be speaking about the same thing. So you need to have an understanding about what your priorities are. And you may realize as you discuss with your partner that what you consider a priority level for him is at a different priority level for yourself and vice versa. So having those candid conversations with your partner to know, okay, this is a priority and this doesn't necessarily have to be one can help avoid a lot of misunderstanding and tensions in businesses when you're working with them. Assess and review progress. Once you've outlined your priorities and your goals, let's say in five years, you want to reach these sales, have these customers or move to a new location or expand your business or diversify, um, then it's always important to set goals. Usually we like to do it like every month at the end of the month. And that's also when the bills come in. So you kind of get the picture. It's more about like uh, our, our, our actions helping us achieve our target or are we going backwards instead of moving forwards. And so having the time to sit down and talk about what you have achieved so far and how you can get to the next step is always important in any relationship that you're doing with someone, include your partner in decisions. Because if you don't include them, they're going to feel very left out and this is going to build a lot of resentment towards you. And you really don't want this, especially with someone you love. You want to show them that you love them and that their, their opinion is important to you by including them in decisions. It doesn't have to be like massive decisions. Sometimes even small decisions, like for a lot of us ladies, we love to be included in some of these decisions. Like for example, where are we going to get coffee this time? Or are you going to be the one responding to this email? Or honey, could you tell me what's the best way to respond to this client? Things like that, that would make your partner feel good if you included them can go a long way to building the trust in your relationship, strengthening your bond and growing your business positively. Support your partner. This means you've got to be their number one cheerleader. You've got to stick up for them and be loyal to them. 
especially in situations where it calls for you to because that will show the world how much the two of you are devoted to each other and it will also show your partner how much you love them and how much they mean to you and it will also in the long run build and strengthen that bond between the two of honesty you. is the best policy keep it real 100 percent like don't try to sneak around and do things behind your partner's back in the hope that they will not find out because honestly nothing is hidden under the sun so if you and if you really are this is like to people who really want to be authentic and real in their relationship there is no reason whatsoever why you would want to go and do things behind your partner's back unless you don't trust them and then in that case you're not really building a relationship to last you're just building a relationship to survive so it's really important to trust and you're honest with your partner about everything just as they will be honest about everything with you and yes this takes a lot of time earning trust building trust is a process but it cannot be accomplished if you do not take that step take time to reflect and enjoy the view be grateful be grateful for what you have even if you haven't gotten that big apartment or that big client or that nice car or have gone to that conference of your dreams just be grateful for where you are and what you have and what you've accomplished with your partner be grateful for the small things be grateful for the medium things be grateful for the big things in your life that you've both achieved together don't forget to celebrate it and that's that's like really key because if you don't do that then you're going to end up uh working yourself tirelessly to achieve something without realizing that you're already achieving the small things you need to achieve that big thing also offer your partner positive criticism i mean this is important and is essential for any relationship it doesn't matter whether you're married to them or not but as long as you're working together and this person is constantly in your life it's really important that you find a way to give them feedback to help them grow just as you would want someone else to give you feedback so you know what you're doing which is not good or what you can do to improve something or build on your good qualities and don't talk down to them or make them feel small or belittle them just like speak from a place of love tell them truly how you feel they can change without patronizing them take time for yourselves you don't want to spend all your time working 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 and like not having any time to like re relax or like de-stress because you will end up exploding i'm telling you you reach a point in your life when you're like oh my god i don't know how this all came to this and i just wish i could just like go somewhere for a vacation and you might not even need to do that if you had built into your system of working times of relaxation and that's one thing that we do is that we take time to take breaks even during the day it doesn't have to be at the end of the month like even during the day like we put in little break times where we just sit with each other and just have fun joke like little kids watch a movie cook together go out for walks and that has like really helped a lot and this also kind of ties back to boundaries because you don't want your work to flow into your relationship because once that goes into personal time you're really asking for problems and it's probably not going to be good for you in the long run especially if you want to build a relationship that lasts so that's it from me friends um if you enjoyed this please subscribe or follow me on my social media buttons and i hope to see you next time ciao